Alright guys, this is uh, the second video. Like I said, you can see I still have the handle. That's the uh, real seat from Mud Hole. It's the uh, Tribal Custom. Uh, see I've got the winding check, a little bit of decorations, space for the logo on down. Still have to put the uh, hook keeper. Coming down, you can see I've got <clears throat> one guide temporarily set on. It's in place along the spine. Uh, got a little bit of the, uh, the uh, I say, rubber hose from Mud Hole holding the guides in place. I've still got to shape the guide feet so that the winding will go on simply. There's another one. Got them all set. Basically, uh, you can see again, this is the next step in the process. From here, what I'll do is take and uh, shape the guide feet because it's very important that you get a, uh, a real good angle at the tip of the guide feet, which is basically either side here and here. And um, what you do is, is you basically file it down until it's flush with the uh, rod. You place it on it, uh, the better it is, the smoother it is. Uh, the simpler, the easier you're going to be able to get your uh, your uh, wraps put on your rod to uh, anchor your your uh, guides, and uh, there'll be a little few uh, windings that we'll put for uh, dress and for show. Uh, next video will basically show the finished rod. Uh, if you like watching this please let me know if you want some how to's or a little more information let me know that also uh, more than happy to give you some information uh, this is uh, Cage Reloading and Gunsmithing signing off thank you